All right, so we're going to go over the pentatonic scale. Uh, this is a great scale to use in songs that you'd be playing. Uh, it's, it's a really simple scale that uh, once you've mastered it, you can just create some beautiful solos, some beautiful riffs uh, in songs that you play. Really, if, if a, you know, any style that you play, whether if it's rock, blues, you know, jazz, whatever, if you know this scale, uh, you can just create some beautiful sounds uh, and some really unique stuff. So let's give it a roll. We're going to be playing it in the key of C. So important thing to do is always find your root note, C. Okay. Uh, root note meaning the key of that particular song. So if the song is in the key of C, the pentatonic scale will be played in the key of C. Now, C on the third fret of the A string is also the C on the uh, what string is that? Five, six, seven on the eighth fret, right? On the E string, pentatonic scale always starts three frets down from your root note, all right? So if the song is in the key of C, pentatonic scale starts in the key, in, in, in the first note will be A, okay? So that's the C, three frets down is A, okay? And pentatonic scale goes like this. Essentially, the, 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 the main structure of it. Uh, what's different from that scale to, say, the C major scale, right, is you're not playing every single one of those notes. So the pentatonic scale will contain notes that are in the key of C, right, in the C scale, uh, but it leaves some out, and that's what makes it a unique scale where you can lick over a lot a lot nicer, you know, there's certain notes that you may not want to play if you're playing in the key of C, for example, and it just adds a nice little flavor. And if you know that basic structure, right, and you get quick at it, then you can just create some really nice licks, little uh, riffs within your songs, which just create a nice little dimension, okay? So the way that we start is we're going from the A, right, to the C, to the D, to the E, to the G, to the A, to the C, to the D, excuse me, C to the D, E, G, A, C. Let's just go that again. It starts on the A, remember if it's in the key of C, that's the C, root note, three frets down, A. So on the E string, got the A, and then the C, and then the D, which is the fifth fret on the A string, to the seventh fret, which is an E, then to the next string, which is a G, to the A on the same string, and then we go to the next string, C, to a D, next string again, E, to a G, to a C, okay? All right, and what is really nice is uh, you don't have to play it in that order, all right? So when you're playing a song in the key of C, you can have a little play around with it, you know? Pentatonic scale. Alright, so I'd encourage you go learn that. Nice scale to know. I think it's a it's a essential scale to learn. 
Uh, and yeah, if you know the key that you're playing, then you can play it in any other key. So as I said, if this key is in, in the key, of, if the song's in the key of C, and you start your pentatonic in A. Right, as long as you know where your root note is, you know, if we're starting in the key of, uh, the song's in the key of A, you know, pentatonic, three frets down, we'll start in F sharp, right? So if the song's in A, it started down there. All right, and that is the pentatonic scale.